there are two classes of mutation so the first one is gene or point mutation second chromosomal mutation in this video we will discuss what is meant by gene or point mutation and the four different types of gene point mutation so first what is gene or point mutation it's a mutation which involves change in a single nucleotide pair in the base sequence that code for a gene. So based on the definition, there are two main points that you have to take note. So the first is, the change must involve a single nucleotide pair. So sepasang nucleotide bases dalam DNA sequence. So the second point yang awak kena take note adalah, the change in the base must only involve a single gene. Satu gene sahaja. As I mentioned earlier, so there are four different types of gene point mutation. So there are base substitution, base inversion, base deletion, and base insertion. What is base substitution? It's a mutation when a pair of nucleotides in a gene is replaced with another pair of nucleotides. So the keywords is replacement as well as a pair. So maksudnya, kalau sepasang base sequence yang ada di dalam DNA telah digantikan dengan satu pasang nucleotide sequence yang lain, so itulah yang dimaksudkan dengan base substitution. In this example, in the original sequence of DNA, the nucleotide pair is between adenine and thymine. But, following base substitution, the original pairing between adenine and thymine has been replaced by a different nucleotide pair, which is now between guanine and cytosine. The next type of gene or point mutation is base inversion. So what is base inversion? So base inversion is a mutation involving two base pairs of a nucleotide where the two base pairs are inverted in the sequence of DNA. In this example, we can see that in the original base sequence of the DNA, the order of base pair from 5' prime to 3' prime direction should be thymine followed by cytosine. But due to base inversion, the base pair now has switched places. So basically, pasangan base tersebut sudah tukar tempat. Another type of gene or point mutation is base insertion. What is base insertion? Base insertion has occurred if there is addition of extra pair of bases in the gene sequence. In this example, there is an extra pair of nucleotide bases has been inserted into the sequence of DNA. This means that base insertion has occurred between thymine and guanine of the original DNA strand. Lastly, base deletion. So what is base deletion? So base deletion is when a pair of nucleotide is lost from the original gene sequence. In this example, the base pair guanine and cytosine is lost or has been deleted from the original DNA sequence. Consequently, the gene sequence is now lacking a pair of nucleotide bases, which means base deletion has occurred. So that was the four different types of gene point mutation. Now, we're going to discuss how the different types of gene point mutation would affect the base sequence in the mRNA and then later on the amino acid sequence in the polypeptide. There are four different effects of gene point mutation. There are missense, nonsense, silent, and frameshift mutation. Missense occurred if the mutation causes change in the base sequence of the DNA which changes one codon in the mRNA sequence. Changing one codon in the mRNA will also change one type of amino acid in the polypeptide of the protein. For example, in sickle cell anemia, the individual have different shape of red blood cell. 
rather than having the normal biconcave disc shape of red blood cell. An individual with sickle cell anemia will have a red blood cell that form sickle shape. This is because of base substitution in the gene that encodes for the hemoglobin. So if you compare the original DNA sequence for hemoglobin with the mutated DNA sequence, we can see that thymine is replaced with adenine. Hence, base substitution. Next, changing the base sequence in the DNA will also change the base sequence in the mRNA. The original codon GAA has now changed into a different codon GUA. Change in codon will also lead to change in the amino acid from glutamic acid to valine. In conclusion, if the gene mutation, in this case base substitution, changes one codon in the mRNA, which then changes the amino acid in the polypeptide sequence, so this is what we call missense mutation. In this example, the sickle cell anemia was caused by a missense mutation due to base substitution. The next effect is nonsense mutation. Nonsense mutation is when the gene mutation causes one of the codon in the mRNA to be changed into a stop codon. The stop codon will cause premature termination of translation process. Hence, will result in a shorter polypeptide chain. So the protein can no longer function properly. In this example, the original DNA sequence has undergone base substitution mutation, where thymine has been substituted with adenine. Because of the base substitution, the original codon AAG has changed into UAG. UAG is one of the stop codon. Now, because there is a stop codon, the translation process will terminate. The termination of translation is premature, hence not all amino acid in the gene sequence is synthesized, which result in shorter protein and the enzyme or the protein will no longer become functional. The third effect of gene mutation is silent mutation. Silent mutation refers to the change in the base sequence of the DNA, which changes the codon on the mRNA. However, the new codon still code for the same amino acid. In this case, unlike missense, changing the codon does not change the amino acid sequence in the protein. In this example, the base substitution mutation from cytosine to thymine causes the codon to change from AAG to AAA. However, even though the codon has changed, it still code for the same amino acid. So, in silent mutation, even though there is a mutation, the protein produced are still functional. The final effect of gene mutation is frame shift mutation. Frame shift mutation can either be caused by base insertion or base deletion. Previously, missense, nonsense, or silent mutation all these three effects of gene mutation can be caused by either base substitution or base inversion. So, what is frame shift mutation? Based on the name frame shift, this mutation involves shifting in the reading frame of the codon on mRNA due to insertion or deletion of one or more nucleotide pair in the original DNA sequence. In this example, the original reading frame of the codons on mRNA are AUG, GCA, UUA, UAC, and GGG. But insertion of base adenine into the fourth codon causes alteration in the reading frame of the codon, starting from the point of insertion. Now, the fourth codon is UUA instead of UAC. The next codon is CGG instead of GGG. This means that alteration in the reading frame not only change one codon, 
but it changed all the codon from the point of mutation. Consequently, the sequence of amino acid encoded by the codon will also be altered. In comparison to missense mutation, friendship mutation is considered to be more harmful because missense only involves change in one codon. But in friendship mutation, it involves changing more than one codon.